Iceland is the place to be with the cheapest frozen meat in the market. Welcome to a very special edition of the one and only, it's your favourite show, FFO, Football Face Off. Special Christmas slash New Year's edition. I believe this is going out in that period. Yep. <laughs> but I'm still in the spirit. I'm in fact Santa Claus. You wonder what Santa does on the, the rest of the year. He presents shows like this. <laughs> and uh, with the new year upon us, we're going to be looking back at 2018 and debating yeah. some things about it with these two lads. Yeah. Football Daily's yeah. finest. Bloody what are we, lads. Uh, what are we starting with? We're starting with worst football decision of the year. Ooh, controversial. I know. Who's going who's gonna to start? Who's going to... Who's Oh, Tango enough? Cock over there can start. Ooh. Wow. That just uh, dropped a level, didn't it? What are you saying is the worst footballing decision of the year, Joe? Well, me and Chris did rock, paper, scissors for Messi, so I've ended up with Leroy Sane not going to the Ooh, World Cup. Right. And let's get a poll going. Also Top known as I lost the rock, paper, scissors. Who does rock, paper, scissors in rock, paper, scissors, and then goes on the third? Or, or who goes one, one rock, two, paper, scissors, three, go. No. Go. Is it three or is it four? Three. Vote in the poll. Three. Moron. Either way, I lost, so I've got Sane. Cool. <laughs> Let's go. You've got Let's 30 go. seconds on the clock Whoa. here and a lot of information down there courtesy of myself. So, nice. uh, also, uh, yeah. Good. Because these, these are essentially, this is your research, this isn't is mine, it? Yeah. By yeah, and large. So, if this contradicts things we have done on other shows, get over it. Blame yeah. him. Blame me. Let's do it then, Mikey. That get that time okay, again, Mikey. Ageful. Three, two, no. Three, two. <laughs> is he going after uh, it or on four? Uh, on four, actually, for this. <laughs> Different rules apply on FFO. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Messi might have missed uh, out on the Ballon d'Or, which was a shame, but ultimately it means nothing to anyone other than Lionel Messi. But Germany's disastrous decision Ronaldo. not to take Leroy Sainz to the World Cup was arguably fatal for the team and Joachim Lowe. He just won the PFA Young Player of the Year, hadn't he? 15 assists more than Neymar and Messi in the Premier League last season. But instead, they took the monster, Julian Brandt. What a disaster. He came on That's three it, times. Joseph. That's it, Joseph. That's it. Ooh, that was Finished quick. Finished bottom of the group. Really 30 quick. seconds. That that felt Break. quick, you were Short. just getting going. What was that, 30 seconds? Yeah, 30 seconds. Yeah, Should yeah. we make them a bit longer? No, that's fine. 30 okay. seconds for the first round. Fine. It is 6 o'clock on a Thursday, we want to get out of here, yeah, Mike. True. Okay. Also, I just want to say, Julian Brandt contributed nothing in those three subsequent appearances. Also, true. who's going to vote for you now you confess to wanting the Messi argument? I mean, yeah, definitely vote Messi. If you don't vote Messi, you're an absolute idiot. Come on, then. Okay. Messi, right, so, Messi. Messi. So, what, so what are you arguing about Messi? Yeah. Let, just so we just clarify. They're coming the fifth and the Ballon d'Or was a joke. Yes. Yeah. It was a bit of a joke. Yeah. Is he let's dead? No, then he gets best player of the year. But let's actually get onto the argument now. Yeah, please. Three, no, three, two, one. No, I just <laughs> swore at the camera. Naughty. Bad Santa. Or nice. Or naughty, uh, naughty in my case. Anyway. Bad Santa. Yeah. And, uh, and let's go. Okay. Right, he came fifth despite scoring more goals than anyone else for club and country in 2018. In fact, he's the only player to reach the 50 goal mark this year, Very winning the good. Golden Shoe for a record fifth time. In 18 club appearances this term, 20 goals, 11 assists. In 18 club appearances, I've already read that one. That means he's been getting a goal involvement every 46 minutes in 18, 19, double Ronaldo's average. And. Only Griezmann comes close on 54. That's no, that's Mbappe. Up. Only Mbappe comes that's close. Time up. That was sh But he still Woo! should take the points. <laughs> yeah, not my finest work. But moving on. Who are you giving it to? Uh, I will. Well, oh, it's difficult. I think you did argue it better, Joe. Oh. But. Okay. I'll leave it up to you guys because it's not up to me. I'm just the adjudicator, aren't I? Actually, but you know. Getting paid. You can only have three. Yeah. You can only have three polls in a video, so we've kind of. Do it with the rock, paper, scissors one, so leave a comment if you want yeah. that round. Round two, it's breakout star of the year. That's right, which youngsters have come into 2018, not been that well known before, and have smashed it out the park. Uh, Chris, who are you going for? 
Youngsters coming in 2018, I've gone for Frankie De Jong. Ooh. F D J. 30 seconds on the clock, Chris. Yeah. Just for reference, Joe, Jaden Sancho, I believe you've picked. I have picked Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. New Year's joke. Cool. Okay. 30 seconds on the clock, Chris. Are you ready? Steady. Yeah. Ready, steady, go. Yeah, the Dutchman only turned 21 in May, but already looks like one of Europe's top, top midfielders for years to come in 17, 18, because I'm including the first half of 2018, unlike you, Joseph. He got eight assists in 22 league appearances, playing as a DM and a centre back. Ooh, and despite perfect. this in the final two months, He's come back emphatically this campaign. Bounce back ability. He's added goals to his game. He's got three. He's got three tackles in his receptions a game. He's playing better in the UCL than domestically. The sign of someone Time who can play is at a up. higher level. Christopher. And that level might be Barcelona. Oh! Cutting <laughs> final blow right to the core. That was good. That was an improvement, Chris, I must admit. That's strong. I didn't read a lot of points down there. You did. Really comprehensive research. I think I did too much. Seconds I did. I've never scripted this before. I didn't know what it, what was actually required, and I did too much. Not good. We Not like good. That, oh, nearly went. Um, so that just leaves you, Joseph. Eighty-five yeah. passes a match. It's good, isn't it? Good. Very oh, good. See what I did there. It's got that on it. Vile. Uh, play the game. Play the game. Oh yes. no! Oh, none of that. Did none of that. Point. Deduct him a point. That could have been criminal damage if it happened outside this office. Anyway, uh, over to Joe now. Do you think you've got what it takes to sure. match that? I'm hoping so. Yeah. I'm hoping so. Let's, let's give it a go. Let's just get on with it, shall we? 30 seconds on the clock, Joseph. Okay. Jaden Sancho, breakout star of the year. Your time starts now. Yes, you talk about Frankie De Jong. Oh, 21. Well, Jaden Sancho is still 18 and is averaging a goal or an assist every 75 minutes in the Bundesliga. Yes, he might only have broken through properly in the second half of the year, but that is because also he only joined Dortmund for £10 million last summer. So six months in, a full season to bet in at Dortmund, and now he's already smashed. Smashing it. Carrot I reckon cock. he's going to go for a world record fee in about three years' time. Ooh. Oh, well that done. That was good. That was good. You wrapped it up there, which I liked. You um, wrapped you it up know. there. <sighs> I made but, a reference to his penis being a vegetable halfway through and he just went straight for it like a consummate Yeah, I didn't even hear that. Didn't hear I was too entranced. Ah, Although you did miss out the fact that his market value in three months has gone up by something like 800%. Big. He's even Big. added my statistics uh, in. Yeah. Because I, like, I oh, like it. Conspiracy. Whoa, whoa. But, but no, is he, complete, is, is he completing will. as many long balls as De Jong? He's got, because I believe, what, 3.5 a game? Yes, so? yeah, 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 yeah. Let's play the game. It's all up there. It's all up whoa. there. Spooky. Yeah. Final round. Yes, that's right. And it's the biggest one of them all. It's the one you've all been waiting for. Player of the year. Oh, yeah. Not messy. Just brackets, not messy. Oh, yeah. Because obviously, yeah. Anyway. Joseph, you're going to be going first. Who I am. have you picked? I've picked Rafa Varane. Mm. I could have picked Raheem Sterling, but I didn't want to be boring. Spoke about him on Sunday Vibes, so I've gone for Rafa Varane. Good choice. Still boring. Underrated. Um, and Christopher, who have you gone for? Mohamed Salah, the Egyptian king. Oh, yes. Who has, has kinged it this year. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I and also said on Sunday Vibes, so... Oh, did you? you? Yeah. Oh, okay. you know. Shocking that neither of us have gone for Luka Modric. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Oh, I just bored of him winning awards now, aren't we? Yeah, it's true. Just a silly. Thing. Liked it at the start. David, get a look after, after the back door, it's like, oh, actually, don't really, don't really oh. care. Anyway, you're going first, Joe. So, as usual, you've got 30 seconds on yeah. the clock for this special edition. On your marks. Are you ready? I am. When your marks get set, go. Rafa Varane won a World Cup and a Champions League winner's medal in the same summer. Only two other players have done that this century, Roberto Carlos and, weirdly enough, Sammy Kadira. But Rafa Varane, a behemoth of a centre-back, started every game in France's World Cup win every single minute of Real Madrid's Champions League, well, knockout games. Uh, he is outstanding. Out yeah. the back and probably the best centre back in the world right now. Oh, oh, again, good timing there. Good timing. You saw my hand go up probably in the corner of him. 
I and uh, yeah, it did, did yeah. well. You know, I was gonna, I was going to include the likes of it. Only gave away two fouls in the oh, whole World yeah. Cup. Oh yeah, any more? You good. know, four clean sheets in seven World Cup games. Right, but I just okay, thought, that's enough. I just thought, that's enough. Yeah, leave it out. Too much information, oh. as they say. So, you know, it's Chris. taken you long enough to get you know authoritative, mate. And f well, what can I say? I'm not a natural authoritative person. Well. Never ever put me in a ref's position in the real world. <laughs> I punch from below up. Rather yeah. than down below. What, you, you know? like the uppercut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm all about the all about the little man. What about you know my friend Oliver Coleman? Shout out. I said, what was the most valuable thing you learnt in the Marines? And he said, how to rip a man's cock off. <laughs> really? Wow. Can you come oh, on no. through twist pull. So, can you rip a man's That's cock off? Genuinely horrible. Let me know in the comments below. Thirty seconds on the clock, Christopher. Good. Starting now. Yes, Mo Salah. Thirty-five goals for club and country this calendar year. Mm. Only missed out to Lionel Messi for the European Golden Shoe by two goals. He may not have won any trophies, gentlemen, but carving yourself out as Europe's best out-and-out -out goal scorer is no mean feat from the right wing, Jose. And especially when your previous best goal tally was 15. He also set the record for goals scored by an African player in a single Champions League campaign. Better than Drogba, better than Eto, and his market value, 174 Time million. Up. Oh. Time up. Not Rest. bad as well. Not bad. No, up, you, up from you 39. Just it. You'd started your last word when the timer went off, so wow. that timer's stopped now. Do you know so, what? Yeah. You know when he didn't contribute, Liverpool actually didn't win any of those games. No That's way. True. He only didn't contribute in four games, Joe, and Liverpool didn't win him, so Crazy. he's probably quite important, isn't he? Pretty important. Some would say he's quite important, mm. yeah. They would. Yeah. But what do you guys think? Who won that round? Who did it better? Up there. Let's have it right. No one in FFO wins, and even more so for people that are watching it and have made it to the third round. If you made it to the third round, then iconic stuff. Yeah. Because this is awful content. So that was the end of another fantastic episode of FFO. I just can't get enough. Do you <laughs> want to see this more in the new year? Let us know in the comments below and whatever you say, we'll probably ignore it. Anyway, guys, have you had fun today? I've had so much fun, man. This I, has been fantastic. You know, this has been better than watching Dave. No one would have known that this was an emergency shoot that we barely prepared no, for. No, nobody would have up the scheduling at Christmas, Crazy, wouldn't they? Man. No one would have figured Professional. out. Professional. This is better than Sunday Vibes Extra Time, the podcast. I would say so. Better research, at least. Probably we should probably reuse that. A bit of a good, good stuff out of Mike. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you later. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Yeah. 2019, baby. Make it yours. And remember, sparklers are dangerous. Yeah. Don't run with scissors. Don't eat yellow snow. Yeah. What else? Uh, don't. I don't don't let off fireworks indoors. Yeah, true. Mm. Or, you know, don't cheers with a glass of water. It's unlucky. Is it? Mm. I've cheers with a glass of water before. Exactly. Mm, Empty dear. glass, that's, that's unlucky, isn't it? That's the reason, Someone's Mikey. Well. And that's the reason Mourinho failed. Maybe. Scum. Maybe.